I really came here for my kids because they've been asking me you know, to get the vaccine. So most especially for school purposes as well, you know, we're full face to face and they go to um, Mark Carmel School. So we've never like stopped through this pandemic and I'm very grateful for that. So it's very for their caution and well-being and their health, you know, uh, most especially to the faculty, staff and the families around our schools. Mother of four and Santa Rita Sumai resident, Christine Castro, speaking on why she decided to get her children their first dose of the Pfizer pediatric vaccine. Castro also shared how her youngest daughter caught the virus. She contracted it from daycare and of course it's something that we can't control um, and very grateful that the daycare and of course also to public health was very um, informative for me. Uh, they called me like practically every day. They sent me daily reports. So um, I'm that one parent that was like very, you know, um, happy and grateful that there's people out there that do care about us, our community. Um, and it's like I said, it's a test to my, my daughter having COVID that the vaccine did really help us, you know, come through it with the 10 days. Castro is grateful for the vaccine and thanks it for keeping her family safe from the virus. When we found out that the Omicron was going around, um, it made me even more um, anxious to come out and, you know, get my kids, most especially vaccinated and me getting my booster. Um, but I encourage, but then again, like I said, everybody has their own thoughts and feelings about it. Um, but yeah, firsthand, you heard my testimony about my daughter having COVID. She's three years old, so of course, you know, she can't get vaccinated, but um, she did have the symptoms, um, and that's how we were um, able to identify it right away. The UOG Fieldhouse Vaccination Clinic is open every day, except Thursdays and Sundays from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. The field house will be closed Wednesday, December 15th. Operations will resume on the 21st. To schedule an appointment, go to tinyurl.com slash vaxguam. Daniel Perez reporting for Guam's News Network.